or uh, uh, able to escape. And we escape, they catch some of our friends in, girls, they carry them. So we went home. And we went home while sleeping in the night. They came with their pick up. When they came with their pick up, they rack our doors. Then some of my friends then were jumping through the window. I wanted to jump through the window. What I wait, all I want to say, my picking, if you move, will break your foot. So I just stand in the room. And the king, they collected me, they say, we carry your clay to go cook food for the soldier then. They put on in a picker. When we get the clay, they say, the people already carry the food ahead of your So we go in government fan at the play, you're going to do the cooking. On which government fan, we can't see nothing there. They say, we have to go quit down. And they play like they were carrying all uh, on the battlefront. Because law forces are finally taking the whole upon me. So they were only basing from my head bridge coming all the way clear. So when we went, they put all down. They say, we we'll bring you up for cooking. You're going to me to go attack. And when you go, you should not pick and choose. Young baby, oh, oh man, oh, pregnant woman, oh, you should kill them. Then I begin to wonder in my heart. I say, but God, I don't know about God. And I am so dear, I'm a student. Then they say, oh, go and bomb me to go for it. But I wait for me and share you out there. And he say, oh, I let people then they swear they run away. Say, you can't lay down. Uh, I lie down. Like, that they are captured belt. They are army belt. Lay me down. Started fucking me on my back. Stepping me with a boost. Blood started coming from all in my nose. All on my face. Fucking me. And they finish. Say, wake up. When I wake up, they say, get ready. Throw the arm away. They put the arm pass on my head. Then they gave me one AK. We started moving. On when I tell them, say, I say, I want to go in the latrine. They say, all right. Small soil, God, I mean, when you may or move, you more blowing up. So, on when I went beyond the banana tree, I was having my New Testament power in my pocket. I took it all. I resolved the Psalm 23. From there, I put it by in my pocket. We told the papa, the papa, two saw me to go for me. While going, we were 20 in numbers. While going, we fall into law force ambush. And 15 of my friends were killed. And only five was all able to escape from the ambush. They wounded one of their general by the name of Mama Poo. Then they say we should tow him. <coughs> While tow him coming on one thing, so he start to abuse our mother of them. So talking all kind of thing. When we came, we brought him come on here. They sent for their people. Then I left there. So then I said, but I'm a surveillance. I won't go back in the plantation to my people. In fact, I said, we only two from our man. And my mother already yelled like, at they kill me. They say, my picking, in fact, sir, we come and show you now how to kill. So they caught one papi. Because when the papi yell a launching sound, he just feel that the law force will catch all the error. So he came from the hatch to count the quota. They say, they even will give you the papi here. We want to go so he can go carry him on a bridge to kill him. And I left there and tell them, say, if like the only thing I think you all kill me, but I can't even to kill somebody. They say, all right. But I went one eighty you ball there. They get the ball, they get the papier to the ball. The ball carry the papier on the beach and kill the papier. Put throwing in the water. Then they say, you, you come and go on the front for the second time or either will kill you. Because some will give you all you want to do it, will kill you. I start to wonder again and say, God, the type of trouble that coming to me, that only you will save me. From there, I decided to walk 
to question because they were having one gate there. So I start to jog. When I reach there, I pull up with their gate. A human being score, human being injured hanging. And they say, Picking, where are you going? I say, I jump from right here to the Maher Bridge. We were the surveillance and I had a tow from in Godfrey Plantation. I found him my way to go. A lot of poor leader, he said, My picking, if you want to die now, you better care yourself, bye, because Chief 50 finished giving all, all of which is being my yet. Like anybody from the front line coming, only your hair he want, you must cut your hair off. I say, Che. So I, I jog, I went back. When I went back, and he stayed on, from where I shall read, pick up King, photo pick up. Then one girl, a girlfriend, I knew the girl. So I ran to the girl, I explained to the girl, I said, Sister, we the one they took from Godfrey Plantation, and up to now, some of my friends then they carry it, or they die. And me, the people stay behind me, and I know about going. So please talk to the people that they drive me. The girl said, all right, I will make her way. So she talked to them. They put me in a pickle. On we go, my fan. They put me down. I joined the bush. I start to walk through the bush until I reach to my village. When I reach there, my father said, ain't see the same thing I used to be telling you when they bring him or go in the bush, but he can't do it. He let us sit down in the town. So far me to go to a man in town. I say, all right. I look for late money. So it was on a Monday day. I decided to go in town. While going, when we reached the clay gate, they put me down. They say, where are they picking coming from? They put me down. They hold me down. Carry me. They say, you go call it here. In fact, I said, we come and make him a book. Then I left from there. I said, but I jumped from on the phone. Then you come and carry me back. He started to abuse my mother. Started using all kind of focal language on me. He said, my picking, if you ain't go, Nana will blow you all. Our uh, uh, commanding general, paying my attention, finish giving all, all of you. Okay, you said nothing can come from all of it. So if you respect yourself, just go back. He put me in their paper again. They carry me to the same era. And they carry me, they put me in a gate order. They say they begin here, you almost take care of him when you want me any attempt. You almost just break a foot. Then that the B man can't see him. Or either of you do it well. Left there, I went on, on the plum tree. I was sitting there. And I stayed on again. They are pick up king. Then they get see me, they get say, oh. How do you go? I say, yeah, oh, I went, but I was trying to go in town. They catch me again. The girl say, all right, the person I bring you, let go there. On when she talk. She say, but they particular begging, I come and pay for you. When you go, when you go, when I pull you down, they even must see you again. If they see you now, I won't buy like your dead body. They will kill you, so you must hide yourself. So they put me in a pickle when we came. They drive me on the highway. I joined in a bush. I went to my era. I leave funny way. I take the Papa Zonantan way. I went across the river. I went to my mother era. I left there until the war was over. My own milking in now. They deployed them in the plantation. I went there to my father. How can one time get in contact with Father Gary? So he said, I'm going to go on a mission to be there. So that's my story I have. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, too, for sharing your experience with us. You just informed us on how some children were forcefully recruited to go on the front and fight. Were you trained before they took you to the front? No. Okay, so a lot of children were taken to the front without any formal training to deprive of education and all of that, and some of them even died. Yes. Thank you very much for giving us 
your testimony. We're sorry for the bad treatment you went through. But then again, we are all survivors, so it is us who will tell the story so that others will know what happened, and then in the future, we all know how to avoid it from happening again. Uh, you didn't call the name of your school. My school I was attending is Quartry Plantation School. Quartry Plantation School. You in school presently? Yes. What your class? 10th grade. 10th grade. Okay. Thank you. Commissioner Sheikh Kafuma Kone will ask you questions. Okay. Thank you too. As a witness, you say after you were taken to the battery from somebody to you uh, where we brought you to fight, uh, we didn't bring you to cook. Who was that person? Oh, uh, they were basing clay. I think they were using general one general mosquito pickle. You know, like our Malaysia group. They just used to go and grab you and put you in a pickle. They were using one photo white pickle. I don't know their so name. So there were uh, government soldier militias that took you to the battlefront. Yes. And it was the same group that were flogging you with uh, soya belt? Yes. And you said Vamia Sheriff and his girlfriend came? Yes. Well, what happened from there? Vamia Sheriff, uh -huh. after the brought up, he, because he was commanding general, he gave he the one whipped me. He whipped you? Yes, he whipped me. Uh -huh. With a country bear. He said, we the one run away from on the front. I was bleeding with blood. Sometimes say said, if I sit in, I can be, blood can be coming from my nose. I just because by the grace of God, Father God will brought me on the camp. Sometimes I can be taking some treatment. It can happen to me constantly. Yeah. And who helped you <coughs> to take you from the battlefront? This girl was laughing to Famuy and Sherry. I knew the girl. I girl helped me because when they were in the plantation, I knew to go around the girl, help her to draw water for her. So when I see her, I explain my condition to her. Like how can she say, well, I know the boy. A boy and a soldier, a student. How can she save me? God for she the second. Thank you. As a witness, yes. thank you for letting us know about the kind of mistreatment you got when you were recruited. When the first captured you, who were the commander they took you to? When the first captured me, they took me at the Guetan Bridge, they were having plenty of commander there. They were having General Mamapu, General Siki, they were plenty, etc. Were there other young people there as well, or you were the only one? There were all of surveillance there too. That they captured? Yes. Were they feeding you, and if so, what, what kind of food were they giving to you? Nothing, nothing. No food, nothing in the car? Yes. Thank you. <coughs> so, witness, thank you very much yes. for providing some light on the kinds of things that are happening. You say you were forcibly recruited? Yes. By whom? By a government troop. Can you remember who was the leader of that troop that uh, recruited you? Yes. Now you tell us his name, if you remember. Say some of them are General Mamapu, Chisiki, Stene, etc. General Mamapu as a woman? Men. Okay. Uh, you said they took you to the front area around Government Farm? Yes. 
and the friends that were with you who you said were ambushed, yeah. were they also recruited like you, forcibly recruited like you? They were, yes, so failing. The 20 persons that were going and fell in ambush and only five survived, they were all civilians who died? Ten was so failing, the rest was so dear. And this happened around government farm area, you say? No. Going Bama, because we took the Bapa. We took Bama? Yeah. Okay. Can you remember what kind of orders they gave you when you were going? What kind of instructions they gave you? Yes. Yeah, what were the instructions say? The instruction was when we catch up bombing, no baby is on target, no P better is on target. Everybody should be killed. We should not spare anybody, whether you print it or you whosoever. We should be killed. And who gave the orders there? You can't remember who gave the orders? According to them, they said the order was given by General Roland Duo and Benima Yetin. Uh, did you yourself see uh, General Roland Duo in that area at the time? No. And uh, how about uh, Benjamin Yetin? Did you also see him in that area? Yes. You saw him? Yes. And these were the instructions he was giving to the men? Yes. Okay, thank you. What year did all of this happen? I'm not getting you clear. What year did all of this happen? 2002. July. July 2002. Yes. And how long did it all last? Up to the time you were captured and the time you finally escaped. How long I was there? How long you stay with government forces before you you got away? About two weeks plus. Okay. Okay. We want to thank you for coming to share your, your testimony with us. We encourage you to continue your education and stay in school. You have given us very valuable information, which will even help us in recommending what should be done for children who are victimized by the conflict and what should be done to make sure that our youth have a secure future. We have a whole committee on youth at the TRC and we'll be holding a hearings on youth. I hope at that time information can get to you so you and some of your fellow colleagues, young people who are affected, can come and participate so that your voices are heard. But otherwise, we have heard your, your voices, your experience, and see that you are speaking for the thousands of youth out there who, from Grand Cape Mount County to Maryland, who suffer similar conditions. You know, and you manage to remain in school and keep yourself in good standing. We praise you for that. I want to thank you. Before you leave, you want to say anything finally to us that is on your mind that you haven't said? Yes. Please do now. Okay. First of all, I want to extend my thanks and appreciation to the TRC. And I want for the TRC to take care of the perpetrators. Because if they didn't take care of the perpetrator, it will repeat one more time. And the TRC should appeal to the Liberian government to please help the victim. That's all I have to say. Thanks. Okay. Thank you very much. You may leave. And we take note of your advice that the government should do something for victims and we should make sure that perpetrators account for their actions. Yes. Yeah, we take that advice and that is one of the mandate of the TRC to recommend to government what should be done for victims and at the same time what should be done to perpetrators. Thank you very much. Thank you too. Okay.
The last witness. The next witness, please come forward. Do we hear this witness have asked that his name not be called in public? Is yeah. that the, the yes. witness? Yes. This, this next witness has asked that his name should not be called in public. And there should be no photograph. His switches are granted.